1994, Jerry Halliwell answered an ad for performers to join an all-girl band in London's theatrical paper The Stage. She got accepted into the group that went on to become the Spice Girls. The story goes that it was Jerry who took hold of the reins, engineering a sneaky manoeuvre to dump their management while retaining control of their recordings. And in 1996, the Spice Girls released their debut single, Wannabe. It topped the charts in the UK for seven weeks and went to number one in 31 countries, becoming the biggest selling debut single of all time. Always the most outspoken member of the group, Jerry was known for her outrageous Union Jack outfits and streaky hairdos, which helped earn her the moniker Ginger. During a sellout world tour the following year, Jerry set the cat among the pigeons by announcing that she was leaving the group. While she claimed she was merely suffering from exhaustion, the rumor mill claimed that her abrupt departure had more to do with a falling out with Scary, who allegedly thought little of Jerry's singing and dancing skills. Needing to buy back a few karma credits after leaving her fans and fellow Spices in the lurch the year before, she signed on with the United Nations to become a goodwill ambassador for the Population Fund and went on a fact-finding trip to the family clinics and slum areas of the Philippines. In 2007, she travelled to Zambia to raise awareness to reduce maternal death and halt the spread of HIV-AIDS. We, the UNFPA, are here today in Zambia to remind governments and honour their commitment to improve maternal health care. The year before, Jerry had given birth to her daughter, Bluebell Madonna. The big announcement of 2007 was that the Spice Girls were reuniting for a one-off tour. And the question on everybody's lips... Have you forgiven Jerry? No. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. No, of course, we love each other, we're all yeah, friends. Absolutely. There's nothing to forgive. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah. It goes to show that nothing smooths out old grievances like a sellout world tour.